Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, March 8th, 2022 by Gaia Green. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I let my actions start in source and flow on in it through me. And because we never get this, I actually have a little Mahalo sitting with me. He hasn't wanted to be on camera for a while because he technically doesn't really want to. He's just hanging out with me. But for those of you who've been with me for a long time, Mahalo has also been with me for a long time. So it's nice when he's hanging out. All right. So today's actually a great day to <laughs> grab your kitty and let them help you ground on in. While we start the morning with the moon in Gemini, or it's not, not sorry, not in Gemini. This is what's, what's going to be happening. The moon in Taurus, we will have a shift into Gemini, and between that and all of the Aquarius, plus Mercury reaching those final degrees of Aquarius, the final degrees always have a little bit more oomph behind the energy, a little bit more oomph behind the lessons. Um, between these three, three things that I just mentioned, whew, the electrical mental vibes are going to be off the chain. In fact, we do have the mind card and it's in reverse and it's like mind your monkeys so let's start before before that lunar shift we have the moon in Taurus actually connecting with the north node I love this connection because this connection is reminding us it's like a monthly reminder of the north node our north star the energy we're moving towards and this to me is like a recommitment to your values and feeling the emotion of what happens when you align with your values. Now, let's be fair. It's not always necessarily easy in this world to completely line up with our values, meaning acting it, living it, complete embodiment of it. At least I find it challenging at times. Um, but even though it's challenging, we don't have to focus on the challenge. We can focus on, again, what does it feel like when you reconnect with your values. So that's what I'm suggesting at some point today, reconnect with your values, what it feels like just even to have them and what they feel like within you and your connection in and through these energies. Um, I would say a little worth check-in around that time might be good as well. Uh, moon moving on, we'll connect with Mercury. Like I said, Mercury finishing up the final few degrees. This is going to connect at 27 degrees. Um, so not quite reaching that 28 degree energy yet, but um, this connection, there's a square. And so what I'm feeling is like there's some kind of disconnect in your thinking, whether it's about your, your values, whether it's about um, your worth that may come up. Now, this is an early morning connection, but just watch for it. It might show up in your dreams. It may show up in your day, but be aware where them, you feel that disconnect. It may even be when you check in with your values, you're like, oh, that doesn't really connect anymore. I don't really feel it anymore. Or like, oh, wait, I thought that this was hard, but actually, if I look at it this way, it's easy. So there is innovation available to you. Mer uh, <laughs> Mercury in Aquarius or anything in Aquarius, innovation for sure. Uh, one last lunar connection in the morning, and that is with Pluto. Um, it is a trine. And again, this feels like this like that disconnect leads to some level of empowerment. And that's what I'm really feeling with this. Like, oh, okay, I can understand this. I can look at this in a different way. I can be empowered by this thing that I was feeling a little puny around. So again, these are all early morning connections, but you may find them coming up in your dreams. You may find them coming up early in your day. Be aware of these things. Moon into Gemini, 10.39 a.m., which means... We have a little bit of a void moon in the morning. Void moons can be hard to get your mojo moving, especially void moon in Taurus, which would just like to chill or like roll in the mud. <laughs> so be aware of that. Might need some extra go-go, but don't overdo it. Don't overdo the caffeine because once Gemini moves in, then it's going to be like, <laughs> just from the energy without the caffeine. So moon into Gemini, 10.39 a.m., um, innovating our thinking. Now it's interesting because Gemini and Pisces are square. So we may have things that come up with the moon in Gemini where you're like, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to believe. Like the evidence is showing me this, but I, my intuition is showing me this. And so be aware, we're going to have some of that working through. Not yet today. Um, today we have the moon in Gemini actually connecting to Venus and Mars. So innovating that. Today feels like a really great day to connect with friends, uh, I think lucky for my clients who are getting readings, 
<laughs> today on Tuesday. Um, moon connecting to Mars, even though it's a trine, watch your reactions. Um, moon in Gemini connecting to Venus, <laughs> watch your attractions. <laughs> watch your reactions, watch your attractions, right? <laughs> Gemini loves to flirt, and I'm feeling like with that connection with Venus, it may be flirt time. <laughs> but again, check yourself. Check those vibes. Remember the lessons of Mars and Venus in Aquarius. Speaking of that, playfulness. Playfulness is in the air, but we also have this fighting card. So the reactions and the attractions, we're seeing that in here. Check your mind as well. Keep checking your monkeys. Take time to ground. This energy over the next few days is just so highly electrical. It's like combustible. So <laughs> take your time with that. We also have the MasterCard. Um, MasterCard, there are master lessons in and through all this. To me, this feels a lot like the North Node stuff, aligning with your values and innovating around your values. Um, final card is maturity, which again feels kind of like that same thing. The maturity to honor your highest commitments is kind of what that's feeling like. So I'm going to leave that there. It also feels, by the way, I should say, that also feels like a card to remind you to ground. It's an ace of pentacles, earth card, ground. <laughs> All right, so leaving that there, uh, you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. Honor your values. And adios from Mahalo. Namaste.